Hey there, Parser here, back with another Space Engineers video, and today I'll be reviewing the Z-Bon Remastered Battle Carrier Mark II. This is a pretty impressive ship, um, I'll say that now. Very much worth staying for to look around at. And uh, yeah, we'll get on with that now. I don't know why this is happening, but the ship does appear to be moving up. Not too sure what the go is there, but um, yeah, it, it flies fine in the... Uh, if you're just using it and that, I'm not too sure why that's happening, but um, I'm going to ask the creator of this ship, and if he gets back to me, I'll put it in the Discord. Um, speaking of which, if you aren't already, um, make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and uh, join our Discord. We've got a little community there. It's slowly growing, and um, I love to see you all there. I comment on it and talk in it regularly. I try to, and... Uh, yeah, just a bunch of good guys in there. They can uh, show you how to build ships. You can play together. Whatever. It's uh, it's there if you ever want to join it. Anywho, I'll just uh, give a little fly around the ship just now. As you can see, it's quite detailed, particularly in the engine area here. It's also got some sort of... I don't know what you'd call these, but outer armor sort of thing. A lot of good greebling on it as well. At the front here, uh, actually no, sorry, I'll just show you the bottom. It's got a lot of turrets as well, and some solar panels, and quite a lot of thrusters. I think the ship's turned off at the moment, because I was trying to get it to stop uh, moving around, but it doesn't seem that worked, because it's still moving up, as you can see. Anywho, I'll get on with the tour of the exterior. So, first off, we've got these little rocket pods at the very front here. In conjunction with that, we've got these uh, little, uh, I guess you call them, barriers to sort of shield this glass a bit. You've got the merge blocks there. Not too sure what they for. I'm going to assume that's for detail because it's got a camera on there. Just before I do continue, I might just turn the power back on real quick. I don't know if that's actually going to stop anything. More stuff, and I'll just go in here and edit this as well. I think I turned these off and the gyroscopes off. Didn't help, but uh, yeah. Something I will just note right now as well is that the author of this creation did mention in the comments or the description uh, of the ship that it will need to be tweaked a bit for survival. It's not entirely survival compatible, but uh, yeah, anywho. Here we've got these little thrusters, so the reverse thrusters at the back, at the front, sorry. And they're housed in these sort of cylindrical, uh, I don't know what you'd call these, cylinders, I guess. Um, so they're there. We've got a little uh, hangar bay door at the front there, with a little warning sign, just, uh, just so you're wary. And at the bottom here, we've got a sort of spine thing going on. It's pretty cool. As well as that, we've got some turrets here and some on the side, and we've got this cool sort of, I believe this is a convex shape here, but that sort of goes along the side there, and we've got some little turret, uh, sorry, hangar doors here, they're sort of just on the side, as you can see, nice big hangar on the inside, so that's on the other side as well. And then surrounding that, we've got these armor panels, and we've got another little hangar back there, and these cool little neon lights using green and white, which I think look pretty impressive, especially in the dark. Got a little uh, airtight door here that just goes into the hangar bay, as you can see there, starboard airlock. Moving back out, you'll see we've got some more little thrusters hidden in there. Very nicely hidden away there, got a sort of overhang and an underhang there. Got some little detailed uh, rotor heads there to add a bit of detail. A lot of detail on the ship, I really do like that. Here we've got some more turrets and some more sideward thrust. And that continues just over here and of course that's covered by another one of these armor panels which of course uh, as you can see cover the sort of engine knee cell sort of things back here so I really like the way the authors made this as you can see it looks like that some uh, downward thrust there and he's got the warning sort of caution yellow and black there which I think is pretty cool uh, I'll just sort of move back. As you can see, it's very, uh, very well layered with this sort of greebling in here. You've got the half box there with, I 
think these are the interior plate blocks, I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, cool nonetheless. And he's used a bunch of different sort of painting uh, block skins there to get different looks. And that's very cool, got the corrugated iron look there. Very, very cool. Separates the colors, I really like that. Uh, furthermore, we've got more thrusters at the back here. Quite a lot of thrusters, actually. Really looks like that thing can uh, boost off. Um, as well as that, I really like how they've got the color sort of contrast here. You've got the gray on the inside for that more, I guess, industrial sort of mechanical look. And then that's covered with this like white shell there, which I think looks very nice. Moving on, at the back here we have the radar dish, which I think is being placed very, very uh, nicely. Looks very cool. And we've got some sort of little antenna looking things here and some little turrets. And of course those turrets are very useful because we've got our little hanger back here which is not really a little hanger, quite large, but we'll get onto that soon. Uh, moving on, we've also got a sort of hanger bay thing here, so you can store, uh, I guess, another large block ship here, like a smaller one, sort of like the uh, Venators in Star Wars, how they can drop down that little drop ship there, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, and that's just got a little catwalk going along the sides there with some Paso colored neon tubes there, very nice. And we've also just got a little sort of, uh, I guess, control room back here where you can look through the glass and uh, look at that, so that's pretty cool. Moving around, I don't think there's really too much. Well here, yeah, we've got the red and the white instead of the green and the white on the other side. It's another nice little detail. And uh, as well as that, we've just got the other two cargo hanger doors there, so that's there, and then just the same with the thrusters. At the top here, we can see the sort of engine fuselage looking thing continues. That looks very nice, and we've got some little sneaky windows in there which look inside. Again, sorry if the ship's moving up, I'm not too sure how to fix that. At the top here, we've got some uh, missile launcher things, so they're there, they'll uh, stop any invaders from getting you from above but uh, yeah I think that's all for the exterior oh yeah and then down here as well we've just got another little uh, control room area so I think you can fly the ship from down here as well and that's sort of got like a I guess you call it like an airship hangar where it sort of hangs at the bottom of the ship so that's pretty cool and then next to that we've got these two flight tubes which if you go in you'll see lead into some hangers which we'll look at in just a moment. So first off I think I'll just start the tour with the hangers over here. It is a very big ship so I think this will be a longer video so please do bear with me. It's very uh, rewarding I assure you. Anywho, we'll head on in here. Am I facing the right way? Not too sure. Yes I am. So as you can see that just closes like that. No sort of airlock system in here unless that's one hidden back there, not too sure, but uh, I feel like that might not be airtight with that thing. We'll just have to check. Anywho, so upon entering, you'll see that it is a very large hangar bay. So you'll be able to fit no shortage of ships in here, which is great. Um, not too sure how practical that is in a survival situation, especially in servers, because they've got limited PCU a lot of the time. Um, this is a vanilla ship as well, just uses some DLC, a lot of DLC actually, but uh, yeah. Anywho, so you'll see that there we've got some uh, spotlights above here, and that just continues over here as well. And we've got some connectors on the ground there, another one there, two more there, and two more over there. Now, God, it's such a big ship, I'm not too sure where to start with, but I'll just show you down here. So, connected to the main hangar, we can come down here, and this will lead us to another hangar, which is connected to the uh, flight tubes I showed you at the front. So, this is the back end of them. I don't think... Oh, maybe this... Ah, oh, sorry. Okay. So, this is the flight tubes here. So, that's the front we were just in before. I'll just show you the outside of that. Where am I? Over here. Okay, so as you can see, we've got this here. You fly in, and boom, we're on the inside. So that's pretty cool. And you've just got a button here that will open the doors. Moving back here, you'll see that we can 
go up here and this leads to even more hangar space. These are the hangars located at the back of the ship. And to get into them, this has got this door here, which is where the, if I go to the third person, you'll see is the back hangar doors there. So that's pretty cool. So definitely no shortage of uh, ship space. It's a shame space engineers can't really support to have full amount, like have this all filled up, which is a bit of a shame, but hey, what are you going to do about that? Not much. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Just got some ladders leading up to the main sort of floor there, which can uh, be used to get up and down. So that's there. Moving on, we've got a little door here, which I'm not too sure where this will take me, but we've got a sort of locker room here. That's very cool, nice and simple. And that leads us to the main stairwell of the ship. So this thing goes all the way up to the top and all the way down. It is a very tall ship, despite uh, it not looking like it on the outside. I think that's been very cleverly done. It sort of looks pretty sandwiched, doesn't look super tall. Um, but I guess that's because of how wide it is. But it, it looks good. Anywho, so through here we can look at the hangar I entered through just earlier. And that's pretty cool. Over here, you'll see we've got the H2 control room. So we've got some hydrogen tanks here. Very sort of uh, atmospheric. I think this ship above all things is a very good role play ship. So if you're ever making any little movies, machinimas, whatnot, um, I think this could make a very good ship. In fact, I'm planning a machinima very soon. So again, stay, uh, stay looking out for that. I do have a little passion for movie making, but yeah. So you can just see the hangar there again with the cyan neon tubes there, looks very cool. Moving back through here, we can go to the other end and you'll see we've got, uh, you can sort of mod the ship out a bit, so you've got some little uh, mod outlets for, I believe that's the assembler or the industrial refinery, I'm not too sure, but that's there. Anywho, we can come down these stairs here and you'll see that's just a lower level. There's not really much down here, but uh, it's cool to have anyway, so we've got some little computer screens there. Moving on, through here, uh, on the other side, which we can't go that way, my bad, we have another H2 control room, so yeah, that's just going to be identical to what was on the other side, very cool, and I guess I'll start with going down, because I think there are a few levels at the top there. So when we first come down here, you'll see we're in the first control room. So this is the back hangar that I showed on the outside before. Um, so that looks down there and you've just got this little control panel here. It doesn't have any buttons there, but you can assign some, I'm sure. And you can just do some monitoring there if you have a little like envoy come in. Down here, we have glass. Oh, okay, that's cool. So you can just stand here and watch people walk past or watch the ship land in there and attach, so that's pretty cool. Moving back up here, I think that's all for that level. We can come down here, we've got a gravity generator there, some programmable blocks, or timer blocks, not too sure, yeah, programmable. Over here we've got script for the auto doors and whip weapon salvo. Not too sure what that does, but I'm going to assume it has something to do with weapons. Uh, moving back down. We have, I believe this is, yeah, okay, so it's the drop bay. We've got a little screen there, that's cool. Out here, I think this will lead us to the area we were just looking at, yep. So uh, you can quickly board the ship here if the ship's been attacked, I guess you can build a ship that has doors that match up with this. I'm not too sure if the creator of this ship has a little ship that attaches in here. I'll be sure to put that in the comments, uh, sorry, in the description. You'll be able to download this ship and if there is a ship that is designed to go in here, I'll be sure to put that one in there as well. Uh, so that's there. Moving back through this door. Quite an empty space as well, very open, but uh, sometimes that's for the better. Over here, we can look at the launch tubes through the glass here. And this is a door that will lead us looking to the launch tube. So that's the main hangar we were just in before, so you can come through there. Uh, I'll go over there to the flight control soon. I'll just go back up these stairs and show you what uh, what's up there. 
again that door there just repeats what's on that side so heading back up here a lot of stairs get the good cardio in okay I think this is yes this is a different floor so here we have the hangar room which you can look over very cool got the neon lights I am a real fan of that I think it's very cool here we've got the CIC, well sorry, the like hangar room I guess, I'm uh, sorry, sorry, armory stuff, my bad, got my words fumbled, and here we just have some stairs that lead to the main area, so I came in through that door before, and you can come up here and it will lead you into the little armory room, very cool, very good design there. Moving back through, we can go to the, I'm not too sure what CIC access is, but that won't open. Okay, there we go. It had to be airtight. So we just got another little corridor. And in here we have... I guess this is like a battle station room of some sorts. Very cool room. Good use of the neon lights there, acting as lights. Not that they provide any light sources, but cool to have nonetheless. Got the screen, the projector blocks on the side there. Or the hologram blocks, whatever you call them. Um, so that's very cool. Got a cool little vents there. Got some uh, grated windows there. Very nice. And here we've just got a control panel with a bunch of different things. So I believe this is the front. Yeah, okay. So we are located at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see next to those launch tubes there is where I believe we are located, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, wait. Sorry. No. We are... We're somewhere, doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, so you've got another little control room there. And oh, I believe this is actually hidden, yeah. So this is like the battle room. So if you're in combat or whatever, you're gonna wanna fly the ship from here. So uh, that's pretty cool. Anywho, I'll move back through here, back to the main stairwell. Okay, there we go. Also, if any of you have any uh, ships you want reviewed, if you do join the Discord, you can just DM them to me on the Paso account, and um, I'll be able to look at them, and if I think it's good enough for a video, I'll be sure to uh, look at it and um, shout out your factions or whatever. But uh, yeah, so here we've just got a little storage room, not much in here. We've got an engineering room in here. So we've got a view into the drop bay is what I... No, that's that main hangar room. But uh, yeah, anywho, so here we have some little doors. We've got a little viewing deck in here, very, very tucked away. So this is a good combat ship, as you can see, it's very shielded. Um, not that you'd really need to be here in a single player or like 5v5, but cool to have nonetheless, again, for the sake of role play and such, it's uh, good to have. Um, here's another engineering control room, so that's pretty cool. Nice and orange, very engineering. Uh, I believe this is where the reactors are, I think this is a pretty cool room coming up soon. But uh, we've got another little room in here, so this will take us to the engineering control room. So we've just got some cryopods there you can sleep in, or log out in, whatever. Okay, here we go, I think this is the room I was thinking of. Uh, yes, this is, okay, so we've got a little control thing here and you can control the reactors, you can make them go up and down. So if I can find a way in, which I think is going to be down here, you can see that we've got these pistons here, and uh, if I just fly around you'll see that the reactors are down here, so I believe you can uh, like hide them in this glass area here, in fact I'm, I'll do that in a moment and press them, in fact they might have already got this here. Reverse. Is that going to do anything? If I don't explode this ship. Okay, maybe I just push some buttons. Okay, there we go. So I think that's... Yes, yeah, so let's turn that reactor off. That one's on. So I guess you can control it like that. And then to reattach the reactor, I can... Well, let's just turn that on. I am not too sure what this does, but it looks cool nonetheless. I think... Oh, that's probably to cut resource flow to the reactors, so you can do that um, when you like. So I guess I can click that, that'll lock that in place, but that'll turn that off, so you just have to play around with that to uh, use that. But it's a cool sort of little like shaft in here, 
very sort of tall room again it is a very tall ship although it doesn't look like it so that's pretty cool and we've got the cool little uh, white lights there I really like as well as a little orange warning sign there and this just takes us to the stairwell so you can go all the way down not very practical but uh, yeah I think an elevator or the ladders might be a bit quicker for that but yeah so not the best for if you need to do quick repairs on the ship and such but uh, yeah anyways that's there so I'll just fly back up here and I think there's two or three more levels to go up in the main area the ship is a bit confusing layout wise so just bear with me it would be better I'm sure if you downloaded it and got to have a little play around yourself I'll just look what's in here okay we just got another little viewing room screen exploration of space starts with you yes it does and here we've got a little monitoring room a uh, monitoring screen sorry back through these corridors we go as you can see the, the air vents are there so I'll just do air vent things here we've got a lounge also this ship is mirrored on each side so just in case you're wondering what's on the other side bit dark in here but uh, that's something you can always change. Got a little jukebox here with what I assume is meant to have like a glitter floor, not too sure. And then here we've got a little kitchen and a bar with some tables so a nice little place to hang out. It's very, uh, uh, what's the word, metal in here, I don't know, it's very cold room, I wouldn't really call this the most coziest of lounges but uh, when you're in a battleship, I guess the lounge is the last thing you should be worried about. <laughs> Anywho, I'll just move back through here to the main stairwell. So that's just repeated on that door over there, as you can see. It says uh, the left corridor. That's just the right corridor, so they're the same. Up here, we have a little control room for the back hangar there, so that's cool. Got a little hologram there, so I guess you can look at the little ships that you have parked in there. So that's pretty cool through this door here this will just take us out to the hangar so you can jump off here and I don't know go on to your little fighters and stuff like that so that's cool moving on as you can see as well every second floor has sort of like a, a ring around it with different things so just keep that in mind this will take us to the upper levels of the ship. So we've just got some plants here as well as some little mirrors there and some little turrets. So this will take us to the med bay. If we go in here, you'll see we've got like red in here. It's very nice. Uh, medical colors. Not the most vibrant medical room, but again, uh, as long as it does its thing, you're, you're good. I'm gonna assume this is the crew quarters. We've got beds here, a screen, a little table there. And yep, those are the toilets. Very nice. Doesn't hurt to have them. Moving on, we have another little room in here. Not too sure where this leads. I guess it's just a little viewing room on the side of the ship. So very cool. Again, I think this you could. I'm sure you could connect it to the main hangar. Not that you'd really need all that extra room. But uh, yeah, anyways. So that's the room we were in before where I was trying to find the uh, window, but that's just like the battle room. Here we have the bridge. So we've got a little seat there and a little seat up here. So you can have two co-pilots or whatever. And yeah, so that's just the view you get. And it flies pretty alright. It's got alright acceleration as you can see. Pretty slow deceleration overall. Right and left are all right, uh, up and down, pretty slow, pretty standard for a big ship like this. Like, I guess it's, you can't really take in the scale when you're looking at it like this because it looks, it's like it's very wide, but yeah, as you saw when I was in those like different shafts there, it's a very tall ship, so this thing is like bigger than it, it looks. But um, I will say, despite all that, it does turn quite well. In fact, if I just get my little third, camera spectator thing here and I go not that this you can see that it turns pretty well it's just a bit jittery a bit laggy right now but uh, yeah so that's pretty important if you need to change the way you're facing you need to shoot something or whatever 
and it rolls pretty quickly as well. Again, for a ship of this size, it's, it's very impressive, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, that's all for moving and stuff. So it's got some little rocket launches at the front there, which we were looking at. That's pretty cool. Number two, that has a little camera at the front. Number three, also a camera at the front. Not too sure what this does. I guess that turns on the turrets around the, the ship there, so that's good. Got a jump drive there, and we've got all our little doors, which I can just open up real quickly. So you'll see, I don't know if you can see there, but at the bottom with the launch, uh, launch, uh, what are they called? Launch bays, flight tunnels, whatever. Uh, you can see the doors are opening there, and on the sides as well, you can see those are open, as well as at the back there, we've got that little one open there. So that's pretty cool, I'll just shut all of them. And there's nothing for the control 2 second tab thing there. Um, okay, so I'll crash the ship now and we'll wrap up the video. See you in a second. Alright, so I'm above the planet now and I will just mention, this is an only spaceship, so do not bring it anywhere near a planet because you will likely smash into it. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, I'll uh, crash the ship now and shut up and I'll see you at the end. Enjoy. Alright, I'm not quite sure why it didn't take any block damage, because I have that turned on, I learned from the other weeks. I think it's because it hit a tree, but I uh, guess that's a cool crash anyways. I don't think it would really break apart either, it's pretty, pretty hefty boy. But uh, yeah, okay, well that's a bit weird. Anyways, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, comment down below, I love to read the comments, and of course, please join the Discord. I love seeing new people join, and it makes my day. And uh, yeah, see ya, have a good one.